Welcome back to Anatomy and Physiology on Catalyst University. My name is Kevin Tokoff. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. In this video, what I want to talk about are forces that tend to damage either the MCL, the medial collateral ligament of the knee, or the LCL, the lateral collateral ligament of the knee. And so you're going to hear these terms often like a valgus producing force or a varus producing force. And what I really want to talk about first is what those forces are. What is the difference between varus and valgus? And then we'll talk about what type of force damages what ligament and why. So let's go to this slide first. So right here on the left, we're actually looking at a normal knee angle. Actually, what's interesting about this is you'll notice that actually the femur actually naturally runs in a little bit medially at a diagonal angle. Okay, so this is actually a normal knee angle. Now, if we look at varus, a varus stance is a stance where the knees are oriented much farther outward. Okay, the knees are oriented outward. I think you see that. Valgus, the knees are pointed inward. All right. So oftentimes valgus is considered knock-kneed, where the knees could actually knock together. Okay, that's valgus stance. And varus is often called bow-legged, okay, uh, because the knees bow away from each other. Okay, so it's really important to understand these stances, varus and valgus. Now the question is, what does this have to do with injury? Well, it has to do with how the forces are named, a varus force or a valgus force. So a varus force would be a force that would tend to cause the knees to push outward like this, to cause them to point more outward. In other words, a varus force would cause a varus stance. All right. So what force would cause the knees to point more outward? Well, for example, if you had a force, I'll actually put an arrow in here like this so you can see. If we had a force, let's say on this patient's right knee, that was oriented in this direction. If you had a force that was coming in like this, it would tend to push that knee out. Okay, And we can make the same argument there for that other knee. Okay, Again, if you had a force coming in there on the patient's left knee, uh, that would tend to force... Uh, this left knee outwards. So these two forces would be varus forces. Now a valgus force, this is a force that would tend to push the knee inward, like this. And I think you're going to get the idea here. And then on the other side, we'd have this as the other valgus force. So a valgus force not only would tend to produce a valgus stance, but it's just generally a force that pushes the knees inward like this. Varus forces push the knees outward. All right, so it's very important to understand that. This is a varus force, these are valgus forces. Now, the general rule of thumb here for predicting which one of these two ligaments is gonna be injured, MCL or LCL, is if a projectile or object strikes the knee from one side, the ligament damaged is on the opposite side of the knee joint. So for example, uh, let's look here at this valgus producing force. So what is a valgus producing force? Well, remember, valgus is knock need, so valgus forces would tend to push the knees inward. Right? So again, here's the inner part of the knee, because it's medial. Here's the outer part of the knee, this is lateral. So a valgus producing force tends to push the knee inward. Now, if you look at this picture, okay, which one of the ligaments is going to have tension on it? Is it going to be the LCL, which is more lateral, or the MCL on the inside? And before you answer that question, it's another way of asking which ligament is stretched, okay? In fact, the LCL is actually put on slack. Um, even though you'd actually be hitting the LCL, uh, you're actually putting the LCL on slack when the knees go in like this. Whereas the MCL is being tensed, it's being stretched. And one thing you should get out of anatomy and physiology is if you stretch something too far, what happens? It tears. So notice this valgus producing force is literally hitting the LCL, but it's actually when it moves in this direction, when it causes the bend in this, in this way, the LCL is put on slack. The MCL is stretched, and so that's the ligament that's torn. So a valgus producing force, in other words, a force that's hitting the knee from the outside, from the lateral side, is going to damage the MCL. Okay. 
Now in contrast, a varus producing force, this is a force that's actually hitting the knee on the medial side, okay? So a varus producing force would tend to cause the knees to bow out like this. You can see the direction of that force for either one of these knees. So which ligament is being put on slack and which ligament is being put in tension or stretching? Well, actually, even though you're hitting the MCL, it's actually being put in laxity. Okay, but the LCL is being stretched. So in the case of a varus producing force, one that's actually hitting the medial side of the knee, it's going to cause the LCL to be tensed and stretched, and if it's enough, it tears. So a valgus producing force is really a lateral force to the knee. It damages the MCL. A varus producing force is really a medial force that damages the LCL. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Now, before we go any further, I want to ask you a question. Um, what force is more likely? In other words, if you're playing a sport um, or you're just simply minding your own business and something hits your knee, which one of those two directions is it most likely to come from? Well, the answer you should think is actually from the lateral side. Okay? A lateral force to the knee is much more likely than from the medial side. Think about it. If you look at, down at your medial knees, there's another leg kind of blocking it, okay? Um, so if you look at the lateral side of your knees, well, if somebody's going to tackle you in a game of football, they're much more likely to hit the lateral side of your knee than the medial side, okay? So uh, these lateral forces, which are valgus forces, right, they're much more common. And so for that reason, an MCL injury is much more likely than an LCL injury. Right here, you're actually seeing a valgus force. It's coming from the lateral side. Again, it hits the lateral side of the knee, but even though it's hitting that LCL, the LCL is being put on slack. Okay? Whereas the MCL, the medial collateral ligament, or tibial as they often call it, is being put in tension and stretched. And so it's, it's much more likely to tear in that way. Okay, and so for that reason, a lateral force, a valgus force, is going to damage the MCL. But understand why an MCL tear is much more common than an LCL tear. It's much more likely that you're going to get a lateral blow to the knee than a medial blow. It's much more likely, in other words, that you're going to get a valgus force to the knee than a varus force. Okay, um, so that's why we see more MCL injuries. Now another thing that's also worth mentioning here, and you can kind of see this in the picture, it's worth noting that if you look at the uh, MCL as it goes from its origin up here on the medial condyle uh, down to the tibia on the medial side, you'll notice that it actually branches off and gives off a branch that attaches on the medial meniscus. So for that reason, uh, because the medial meniscus is also attached to the MCL physically, a tear of the MCL will often result in a tear of the medial meniscus. What you're also seeing here is a damaged ACL, an anterior cruciate ligament. Not that that has anything to do with a valgus or varus force, but in some cases, if this valgus force is strong enough, not only can it damage the MCL, it can also tear the ACL, particularly if you combine it with a rotational force as well. And so when you have this, uh, the ACL torn, the MCL torn, and because the medial meniscus attaches there, also a torn medial meniscus, you have what's called the unhappy triad. The unhappy triad is really just a condition where all three of those structures are torn, the, the ACL, MCL, and the medial meniscus. Okay? We'll talk about damage to the ACL and PCL more in a separate video, but for now I just wanted to get across this concept of a valgus producing force and a varus producing force. Hopefully this video helped you understand the difference between those. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for future videos and notifications. Thank you.